you ever wonder how God is going to answer your prayers or if he can if we're honest sometimes some of us even feel that way can God answer this prayer well the answer to that question is we find all the answers for our life it's in God's Word we know God answers prayer by looking at the scripture we know that by simply spending time in his word and seeing that he wants us to talk to him and he wants us to pray and by doing that he wants to obviously answer our prayers here's an interesting scripture to share when it talks about God answering our prayers it says this in Jeremiah 29 11 many of you know this verse for I know the thoughts I think towards you says the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you a future and a hope. Now originally this was written as the Lord was speaking to the captives in Babylon. At the nation of Israel, they were taken captive, they were in Babylon. Jeremiah is speaking this to him. God speaks to Jeremiah and says, tell this to them. He's reminding them that he wants to give them a future and a hope. Now that's the that's who it was written to originally. As believers in Christ, we can also take that on and we can also claim that promise that he has a future and a hope. If that's true, then we can understand he has a plan for us when we seek him in prayer. The Lord has the best things in mind for us and he knows our future, controls our future, and he has wonderful things for us in the future. And I believe that relates to him answering our prayers. I know that if I seek the Lord in prayer, that it's going to strengthen my relationship with him. It's kind of cool that God knows the future. Yeah, I wonder if I could know the future by going into the future. Let me try. <laughs> Wow, I think I'm in the future. Let me find out. Hey, Polly, are my jokes funny? No, not at all. Not funny at all. Yeah, I'm definitely in the present still. Say, do you know where they take someone who is injured in a peekaboo accident? Huh? The I C U. Ha, ha, ha. Well, the truth is God has a good future for us and has plans for us. And that involves speaking to us as we pray. Not just looking at our prayer life as a, a wish list, but it's also times to, you know, intercede for people who we may not see all the time, to seek the Lord's counsel for decisions, for pray, to pray for our family, to pray for things that we need help with. Jesus makes it so plain to us, guys. Right here in Matthew 7 verse 8, 7 verse 8, it says, For everyone who asks receives, and he who seeks finds. And to him who knocks, it will be opened. The Lord asks us to ask, seek, and knock. We've talked about this before, but he makes a promise to us too that he wants to do these things in our lives. He wants to work, okay? And because he knows the future, because he has our future in his hands, Part of that is seeking Him daily. Part of that is going to Him in every situation. I like this. In Psalm 34, verse 17 through 22, it says, The righteous cry out, and the Lord hears him and delivers him out of all their trouble. The Lord is near to those who have a broken heart and saves such as has a contrite spirit. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers him out of them all doesn't he? Come on, eternally, God's going to deliver us completely out of every hardship. We may go through them now, but he's going to deliver us. He guards all his bones, not one of them shall be broken. Evil shall slay the wicked, and those who hate the righteous shall be condemned. The Lord redeems the soul of his servants, and none of those who trust in the Lord shall be condemned. See, in prayer, we're trusting in the Lord. In prayer, we are saying, I trust in you, Lord, so I'm bringing this to you. I don't want to make a move without you. So I need to seek your face. Lord, I have this friend who needs your help. Let me seek you for them. So, like it says in the last, last part of that verse, none of those who trust in him shall be condemned. Why? He tells us to pray. 
He knows our future and He loves us. It all comes back to that. We can trust the Lord that when we pray for Him, He's a God that answers prayers. May not always be the way we want Him to, but He answers. Hey, sometimes He says, yes. Sometimes He says, maybe. Sometimes He says, wait, I got something better. And sometimes He says, oh, no, that's not American. He can't tell me no. Yeah, the Lord tells us no sometimes. And I think as American Christians, we expect an answer to prayer is yes. Hey, some of the biggest blessings I have had in my life is when the Lord tells me no. Keep seeking Him. And now it's time to dig deeper with Dudley. One thing I learned about praying is that, you know, when you pray, God gives you wisdom. Mm -hmm. If you ask for it, he'll give it to you. And I need wisdom a lot for, you know, big jobs. Like, like this. This is for a big job. This is a backhoe. Yeah, and Jesus gives me wisdom so I can know what kind of tool to use for a big job. Yeah, that's my big job voice. Yeah, so always remember, when you dig down deep, you're going to hit rock. And Jesus is our rock. Yeah. Let's pray. Lord, thank you for the way you answer our prayers, even the times you tell us no, Lord. We are glad you love us, and we are glad you go before us, that you know our future, and that you call us according to your plans. Bless and keep us, Jesus. In your name we pray. Amen. Well, God bless you, and have a wonderful week.